Sorry guys, I've been under the weather lately. So that's why we haven't had any tutorials, but I'm gonna be, hang on, we're gonna sneeze, we're gonna sneeze. Okay, oh, false alarm, okay, Whew. I'm good. Anyways, all right, today, oh, shoo, hush, 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 Quick effects, guys, quick effects. Cake box lid and a water bottle full of snot. All right, you're watching Quick Effects. Welcome back to another episode of Quick Effects, the place where I show you how to do stuff quick. Today we've got a couple things going on. I'm recording this on an iPod Touch, and with the friends of our help, rewind it and reverse it, with the help of our friends at touchmic.com, I have an adapter here that they sent out, and I'm able to plug in my lapel mic, and that's why it sounds so amazing. Um, check that out. Information will be in the description. Also, I'm using the Filmic Pro app on my iPod Touch to record this, so you might see some weird little things happening. We're just testing it all out. We'll see what it looks like. I'm going to shoot, edit, and upload this entire episode from my iPod Touch. We'll see what happens. But today's episode is actually about this right here, a double-ended clamped posable arm. This uh, goes by a couple different names. A flex rod is a familiar one that's used. But generally, if you go online or are purchasing one of these, it costs about 30 bucks. I'm going to show you how to make three of these for a, a little bit less than that. Shopping list. And for today's build, we're going to need safety glasses, the lamp, of course. We're working with a three bendy lamp thingy, and this is, again, what we're looking for, bendy parts. That one's going to work out real nice. Drill, drill bits, optional electrical ties, some clamps, pliers, and probably a hammer. All right, let's build this. You might be asking yourself, what can you use this for? Well, you could use it for things like this. And things like this. Or even things like this. Mmm, pretzels. All right, well, pretzels are probably a bad choice for this part of the video. All right, we're gonna take apart your lamp and it's gonna be pretty self-explanatory. You're gonna see that the lamp's connected. Both ends are gonna have screws and nuts and uh, you're just gonna to wanna to dismantle it. I had some problems with the fixture end of my lamp. It was epoxied on, so if you have this same problem, just be careful tearing away. I got the pliers and just um, bent the metal off. Once you get all the end pieces off, you're gonna get your drill bit out. Start drilling out your clamps. For the smaller clamp, I drilled towards the end of the little clamp and then for the larger one, I drilled for the center. You want to be very careful drilling the metal, it gets really hot. Once all that's ready, you just put it back onto the bendable arm the same way the lamp was attached. Take apart the base of the lamp, put on your other clamp, and you're good to go. Nice job. All right, we're almost finished. I want to show a completed one right here. And you can see we got the double clamp set up. Larger clamp would be the base, smaller one at the other end. And this thing's really rigid. When you pose it, it holds its position. I set up this one, and like I showed you before, where I drilled into the end where the hole was already there. And you can see, I'll just show you up close, you can see it. See, this one already has a pre-hole, so I just widened it up so it would fit. And I tightened it together the exact same way it was tightened in the lamp with the washer and the nut. Now on this end, I tightened, I screwed it into the center just so it would be a little bit more secure. You can see here, something you want to check when you set yours up, the clearance was pretty close right in there where that uh, end piece tightens in. We ended up making it, but you just want to be very careful, especially when you're drilling this out. You want to be super careful that you don't run into that spring and just cause mayhem. Uh, you can see here, I, like I said before, you can set this up and leave the lamp fixture in place. Set up yours with the clamp at this end so you'd have a clampable light. Um, I was going to set this one up like that, where you'd use these and uh, rewire it. But clamp lights are actually pretty common and easy to come by, especially at thrift stores for just a couple bucks. So I'm going to make this one into a double clamp like this. And another option you might want to do, if you do find a clamp light at the local thrift market or at cheap somewhere at some store, you could actually just replace the fixture in, put on one of these clamps, and you would already have a clamp at one end, so you'd have half the stuff already finished. 
some different options. There you go. Something else I did for this larger clamp, it's got a pretty wide opening and uh, I grabbed some foam rubber, cut it to size, and I put it inside there. And what that'll do is two things. It'll protect the thing that you're clamping to. It'll also give you more versatility on the size of the object that you can clamp to. And it kind of compensates for some smaller poles, like if you have like a light pole or even my tripod where I have this set up. This didn't really want to stay. So by putting that foam in there, it stayed, and then I could pose my little mirror back there so I could see myself on the iPod Touch. Like I said before, touchmic.com gave us the iPhone adapter, let me plug in my lapel mic, making this sound professional. I got it turned this way so I can see myself on the iPod Touch and the iPhone. You can't really see yourself when you're shooting HD. So I got a little mirror set up using this. Anyways, there you go, clamp, poseable arm, quick effects style. Leave a comment, let me know what you think of this episode, and also check out, I'm gonna put a link somewhere in this video, and you can check out the behind the scenes of how I produced this video all in the iPod Touch. Let's see, did we forget anything else? Check out the NopTop homepage on YouTube, and you can add more information like uh, requests for builds or props and things like that. And you can just also just check out some other videos. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Go make something. Like a movie? Why not? All right, see ya. So one of my cosmetology friends gave me this mannequin head to uh, use for uh, just lighting setups and stuff like that. And can I be perfectly honest with you? <laughs> it freaks me out.